What's up guys, it's Chris back with another watch video and today I'm doing a quick unboxing of a Citizen. First one I've had on the channel. And this is a kind of cool watch, it caught my eye. I went to Macy's today and this is actually, I purchased it at Macy's. They had a sale, uh, 20 off and then an extra 25% off. So uh, outer box is pretty flimsy. Uh, inner box is equally as flimsy and I believe there is no booklet whatsoever. There's just some plastic, little plastic lid on what feels like cardboard box. Um, and this is the booklet that comes with it and <laughs> some uh, silica gel. Um, nothing really to speak of. It's all online, I guess, because there's it says website, there's proof of purchase. Other than that, nothing really comes with the watch. Uh, I got this watch. So this is a Bryson, vintage Bryson by Citizen. It is an Eco Drive, so it is solar. It really caught my eye when I saw it. I've seen them online. I never saw it in person. When I saw it in person, I immediately stopped and I uh, took a look and then I ended up buying it. So, like I said, $295 is the retail. I actually picked this up for around $179, then plus tax, of course. So it came out to about $100. And ninety-five dollars, and I really, honestly think that the dial really speaks for this watch. It is an incredible blue, black dial, and I have my Tissot here for comparison, and you can see they actually look very similar. Uh, and I would actually say I like the bezel on the Citizen a little bit more. The dials are very different, but at the same time look kind of similar. Uh, it's just a really cool watch, 44 millimeters, um, and it comes on a on a leather strap. It says band made in China. It's very soft and flexible. It's actually very nice. Um, it has a Citizen buckle. It does look like it's a milled buckle. It's really not that bad. The case is finished very nicely. Not a sign crown. It is a push pull crown. Um, and the bezel does not move. So these are all little quirks about the watch, but for $179, I really think it's a good looking watch. I really like the setup of the dial. I like all the fonts that they used. Uh, even the date and day looks really good. It's small. Uh, EcoDrive, basically, uh, this watch is powered by light, any sort of light, indoor, outdoor, uh, natural or artificial light. So it will power a cell inside the bo inside the body of the uh, of the watch inside the movement, and that's what powers the movement. So really uh, kind of clever. It's uh, obviously a quartz movement, uh, but for 179 dollars, I think this offers a, a really really good vintage look. I don't believe this is actually based on a vintage Citizen. I really couldn't find anything about it. Uh, especially anything with a dial that looks like this. This is, looks like a 70s dive watch. It has the dimensions. It doesn't wear very large. It actually wears like a 42 millimeters uh, watch, I would say. Um, but in general, not thick. Pretty lightweight, but not unsubstantial at the same time. You have a boxed and domed sapphire, excuse me, mineral crystal on this. Again, $179. Uh, really... You can see they're capturing the light. It has a textured blue to black gradient dial. And the the indices are kind of raised. They look like they might be applied or just kind of painted on and then uh, some sort of metallic surround put on them. But uh, all in all, I really like the way the whole watch is set up and how they've actually executed the dial. I like the way they executed the bezel. I don't like that it's a fixed bezel. It makes no sense, uh, especially since this is supposedly uh, a dive watch, or at least they say it's a dive watch. I don't believe so. Like I said, 100 meters water resistance and a push-pull crown. This is not screwed down. So really not a dive watch by any means. Um, but it looks like a dive watch. And I really don't think there's a dial on a watch out there that compares to this at $179. And that's the reason why I bought it. It's all about the look of this watch. And it's fantastic. I really think it's a very, very good looking watch. 
Let me know what you think. Is there another watch out there with a dial this nice? And really, just the overall aesthetic of a watch like this. I mean, it even looks like a vintage Longines skin diver. It looks like that genre of a, of a, of a watch, that, that type of skin diver watch. And 100 meters for a skin diver is perfectly fine. So, uh, is there a watch out there in that price point that looks this good? I can't think of a Seiko 5 that does. I have an SNZH, and I think this is a better looking watch. I think the dial is nicer. I think the bezel looks better. It doesn't function as well, but it's also 100 meter water resistance, just like this is. So, that comes on a bracelet. You can get that for $150. You can get this for $179. Uh, that's automatic, and this isn't. I'll do a comparison video, but I think they're really, um, it comes up to preference on that. And I think that the, the, the dial, bezel, and, uh, and mineral crystal combination really give this a little bit of an advantage. But uh, maybe I'm wrong. I'll do a comparison. Anyway, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Please add a, a comment below. Uh, tell me what you think about this watch. Again, tell me if you think of there's a, there's a different watch that actually is a better value. Uh, I'd like to hear from you. Thank you.